we are told that Hazel and Leo are comparing the number of keys on their keychains. If Leo has four more keys on his keychain than Hazel does on hers, and the two of them have 18 keys combined, how many keys does Hazel have on her keychain? So pause this video and see if you can figure that out. Okay, now let's do it together. So there's two things that we don't know here. We don't know how, much, how many keys Hazel has on her keychain, and that's what they're asking us for. But we also don't know how many keys Leo has on his keychain. And they give us two pieces of information. Leo has four more keys on his keychain than Hazel, and that the two of them have 18 keys combined. So it's feeling like we can set up two equations with two unknowns. If we let L be equal to the number of keys Leo has, keys, I'll just say for Leo, and then H equal to the number of keys for Hazel. And obviously if you were doing this on a test like the SAT, you wouldn't have to write all of this out. You would trying to be getting to the solution. But I'm trying to explain it out for you, so I will do that. And so let's see how we can set up these two constraints that they gave us as equations. So it says if Leo has four more keys on his keychain than Hazel does. So how could we write that mathematically? So Leo has four more keys on his keychain than Hazel. So we could write that Leo is equal to the number of keys that Leo has is four more than the number Hazel has. So it's Hazel plus four. So we could write it like that. We could also write it that the difference between the number of keys Leo has and the number of keys Hazel has is four. So another alternative, we could have written it like this. Leo minus Hazel is equal to four. And these are algebraically equivalent. It doesn't take much manipulation to go from one to the other. But that's ways that we can mathematically write that first sentence. And now what about that second one? And the two, and the two of them have 18 keys combined. Well, that just means that L plus H is equal to 18. So we could just write it that way. L plus H is equal to 18. And I could write it like that again. L plus H is equal to 18. And obviously, there's other ways that you could mathematically write this or that would be equivalent to this. But now, in either case now, we have two equations with two unknowns. And there's two ways that we could go about approaching them. When I look at this version, these two, this system of equations right over here on the left, where I've already solved for L, to me, this feels like substitution might be really valuable. Because I have an L here, and we know that L is equal to H plus four. So if I substitute H plus four in for L, then I have one equation with one unknown. If L is equal to H plus four, I get H plus four plus H plus H is equal to 18. And then if I add the h's, I get 2h plus 4 is equal to 18. And let me scroll down a little bit. And then if I subtract 4 from both sides, I, and remember, I'm doing that to isolate the h's on one side of the equation. Well, then I'm going to get 2h is equal to 14. And then dividing both sides by 2 gives me h is equal to 7. And we could then use that information to say, okay, L is equal to H plus four, so it's seven plus four is equal to 11. But they're not even asking us for the number of keys Leo has. They're just asking us for the number of keys Hazel has on her keychain. And we just figured that out. Hazel has seven keys. Now, we could go to this other system and we could have solved this one as well. And here, it feels like elimination would be the more natural method. The reason why it jumps out at me that elimination would be the natural method, we have a negative h here and we have a positive h there. Now, one issue to think about, and there's many ways to solve these, is if we just add the left-hand sides of this equation and add the right-hand sides of this equation, then we're going to get an equation in terms of L because the H's will cancel out. So then we would solve for L and then use one of these equations to figure out H. Another way that you could do it is you could multiply one of these equations by a negative one on both sides. And then when you do the elimination, it will eliminate the L immediately. And so let's try it out that way. So let's multiply this top equation by negative one on both sides. So negative one times L is negative L. Negative one times a negative H is positive H. And then this would become a negative four. And now when we add the left-hand sides, negative L plus L cancels out. H plus H is two H. And that's going to be equal to negative four plus 18, which is 14. And then divide both sides 
by two, and we get, once again, h is equal to seven. You could have very easily done it the other way. You could have said l minus h is equal to four, and that l plus h is equal to 18, and then immediately just add the two sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, those would cancel out. You would get 2l is equal to 22, divide both sides by two. You would have gotten l is equal to 11. But remember, we're not, they don't ask us about Leo. They're asking us about Hazel. So then we would have to substitute that back into one of these equations to figure out that h is equal to seven.